Hello again my friends. Maybe I should start a new playlist, something like fixing things for friends. Because here I have another hair dryer or fion, like we are saying in many European countries, that belongs to a friend of mine, a lady friend of mine. And uh, it's a Philips, nothing fancy, nothing special. Uh, I don't even see what model it is, but uh, it's a Philips anyway. So she said suddenly, stop working. I don't see any fancy stuff here. Uh, it's very possible to have that thermic or thermo fuse uh, burnt or not exactly burnt but switched off it's very possible like always I'm starting with having the short control I may say we are good and also it can be the cable let me take a look at the cable well, it doesn't look bad. No, it's nothing wrong with the cable except the being twisted. Okay. How can we open this guy? Good question. Is this going out? A lot of hairy stuff. Of course, it's a hair dryer. <laughs> of course. How can I open this? Oh, we got a screw here. Let's take this out. We got anything to push? Or that is just for... No, that is just for, you know, keeping the surface. Okay. Maybe I need a scissor... Uh, screwdriver fixing things for friends for free oh that should be the the name of the playlist okay good and still alive well I may say first of all this motor it's running hmm I think it's a lot of dust in here. Doesn't feel good at all. That's one. Now, uh, let me have everything out of here. And we'll take them one by one. The switch. Okay. You may say, not a big deal. Very simple stuff. Really? Okay, let's start with the cable. That's very good there. And the other one, the blue one. Perfect. Now, Let's see about the switch. So we have one pole here. What? Already? No, that's good. The first step, it's working. The second speed or something, it's not. Okay. But that means that at least we should have on the first stage kind of movement. Really? Yes, we have. And it's hot. And second stage, nothing. Okay, it's out. Well, I forgot to turn on the camera, that camera. So uh, again, 
I should start a new playlist fixing things for friends for free and here I have a Philips hairdryer which is looking like the second step here oh no I'm wrong now is the second okay damn it's working nothing wrong with this guy look <laughs> now it's working how the heck yes I know how you see there inside there this guy here that's a kind of thermic fuse let me see if we can see the contact the contact it's down there somewhere so this is a thermocouple a special kind of metal okay it's like a sandwich of two different metals it's a very interesting piece of technology and engineering let me show you it's easy to understand so uh, let's say this is the first layer I don't know copper and this is the second layer of something else can be nickel can be let's say iron okay but these two guys obviously they have different dilatation characteristics capacities so let's consider here that's a contact okay and down here we have a fixed contact also so there goes a power supply and the resistance of course you see normally these two guys are together but in the moment when the heat from the resistance is higher than a certain value then this double layer metal plate it's moving it's curving you know it's going up and down depends of the temperature because it's like I said these metals have different dilatation characteristics so a clever guy found this very useful in the moment when the heat is applied here let's say then everything goes up in this position let's say and then the contact in between the things is out sometimes because of the oxidation in this region you know this movement of uh, balancing it's very slow it's very possible the force to get back in the contact it's not enough and a little oxidation on the top to be in the air somehow all I can do now is to apply a little bit of contact spray and that's all and this thing gets done now what can I do with the motor I don't like it you know I really don't like it, it, it it's like stuck for me it doesn't feel like we have enough uh, freedom here or maybe that's the way it have to be but I'm pretty sure it's not so I am afraid I'm ruining everything but I'm gonna have a drop of oil here in this region hmm I can't oh yeah that's fine it went exactly where I need it hmm feels better okay now nothing else to do but to put all the things back together mm. easy job yeah it's fine this is going farther down really by the way the capacitor 
it's not for helping the motor moving because this is a DC motor so it doesn't need any capacitor but it's for cutting the interferences you know generated by the sparks into the brushes inside the motor and there we go this is running good do you wanna of course we have a little bit of smoke shall we test the thermic theory about uh, that uh, thermocouple or thermofuse and voila <laughs> it's done is all that yeah we have some fumes from the oil now it's nothing to do but to wait for the thermocouple to come back to the initial position let's give a little help so you saw that it's very secure a little help Probably it's pretty oxidated, but I don't want to open it up and you know Probably I'm not sure or maybe that's the way it have to be you know it's to stay open That's it people Kind of fixing so the problem was this thermocouple which Probably I'm not sure doesn't uh, coming back to the original position it can be a security something I don't know I, I didn't encounter anything like that before usually after a while the contact it's uh, it's back well we'll see well I think it was interesting huh and like usually please don't forget to subscribe to my channel push the like button I'm waiting your comments if you know anything else about this kind of thermic fuses please write them down it's very interesting i wish to know if they are coming back in the uh, let's call it on position by themselves or they are just keeping the circuit in the air thanks again my sponsors radu vlad and check till the next one don't forget have fun bye bye